In this video, we're going to be looking at the advice section on the NHS app. So once you've signed in and you're on the home page, if you look at the bottom left corner, you'll see the advice icon. So just tap on that. This takes us to the, the advice main page. So we can see there we've got four options. The first one is get advice about the coronavirus. So all you need to do is tap on the section that you want to look at. If it's the first time you've been on there, you'll just need to accept the cookies. And then this is regarding the coronavirus. So it's got information on symptoms, testing, vaccination, the NHS COVID pass, what to do if you might have COVID-19 and self-care and treatment. So whichever one you need, just tap on it. Anywhere in the box. And then there'll be, if you scroll through, there'll be lots of information. Anything that's in blue and underlined is a link. So if you want to find out more about whatever it says, just tap on it. Just like that. It'll take you to some more information. And just like I said, keep scroll through to read everything. And again, there probably there may be more links. Anything in blue and underlined is a link. If you want to go back, just in the bottom left corner, just tap where it said the advice icon, and it'll take you back to the advice main page. You can also access your NHS COVID path through here. So again, just go through tap on what you need and to get back the advice icon the bottom left corner and the second heading is search conditions and treatments so this is an A to Z to cover all your health needs depending on what you want information on just tap on uh, the letter at the top which the condition or issue starts with and then scroll through Tap on the condition and then there's lots of information regarding that. Here you can see there's do's and don'ts. Sometimes there'll be some videos and information if you need to see your GP or if it's more urgent. To go back just tap the advice icon again. Next heading on the list is use the NHS 111 online service. This is a triage service for people aged 5 and over. Triage essentially means answering a series of questions to check how ill you might be and what help you may need. It's not a diagnosis. The more questions you're asked, the less serious it is likely to be. And it asks the same questions that you'll be asked on the 111 phone service. Again, to use it, once you've tapped on the main heading, tap Get Medical Help, and then you'll be presented with a series of options. Just tap on the one that you need. So in this example, we'll tap on Help with Symptoms or an Injury. Read through the information. If you want to start the 111 online service, just tap here where it says Start. Read through to check it's not an emergency. If it's none of these, just tap where it says I have none of these in green. So just tap in your home postcode and then tap next. For your age, tap in the box and that will bring up the keypad. And then just type in your age. And then tap next. So just tap on the box. And scroll down. And then tap next. And then it will ask about the topic. So you can scroll through or tap search. And then tap in the box here. And you can type in the condition. Or you can search through the categories to find what you need. So at the bottom, if you can't find the right topic, it's got some options that are available for available to you. Search the same topics in that A to Z list instead, 
will take you to the health A to Z section. And you can read through and see if you can find it in there instead. So once you've tapped on a category, again scroll through. Tap on the one that relates to you. And then this will come up. Read through. If you're happy, tap I understand. And then that will take you through to a series of questions. So just go through them all and answer them as best as you can. And once you've completed the questions, the service will decide what type of support you need. And the last one, the section at the bottom is ask your GP for advice. This is basically the e-consult service through the NHS app. So if you tap on it to open it, you can read through the information. If you tap on the box there, you'll update your name, date of birth and NHS number and postal address so that you don't need to type in any personal information. So tap the box and then tap continue. And then it will follow the same questions to direct you to the right service, just like on the e-consult service. So this service is mainly used if you're asking for test results, making a routine appointment or describing symptoms to your GP and getting advice. This sometimes may decide a face-to-face -face appointment is needed with your doctor and this service is for non-emergency advice. If it's more urgent advice that you need, then you would use the NHS 11 online or phone service. And that covers the advice section on the NHS app.